After a thrilling 10 rounds in the Foz Rock Super 6 Championship, this time it's knockout rugby as we reach the business end. It's Watsonians Rugby versus Heriot's Rugby in the first Foz Rock Super 6 Championship semi-final. Will they drag it out? Will they try and come round the corner? Looked like it got knocked down. They're going to try and come round again. Short once more. Giving and going and trying to get Not there. Not on the line. Not on the line. Here's the scrum half. Scott, hands on the ball. Now we'll try and send it out long. Breaking through. And it is a good score. Down by Watson, down by Watson. Watsonians took it down. Cal Davis goes in. Driven Please. back. But again, good ball comes out. Bag it. Reynolds, a little ball in the inside. Loman McPherson could score. It's a tremendous covering tackle. But the scrum half watches as it's flicked out to Dom Kutze. Four tries in four games for the fullback. And that was excellent execution by Watsonians. I've not seen anything on my side there, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. If you're going to join the line out, you need to be stationary before that ball strikes in. Yeah, I think you can't blame them the way things have went so far. Um, and the way they're driving them all was it'd be interesting to see how this one gets Legal going. Five. Cecil won the line out, ball came to the back. Leishman trying to get the hand to him. Still going Davis, Leishman is there. Scott gets the ball on the inside. They're close, they have it. And it has gone to Seb Cecil. The big number eight. Linus trying the counter. Again, it's Scott. Scott gets it up onto Watt. They're coming again, it's relentless, it's Loman McPherson who will bust through to score. Loman McPherson, a fifth try in ten matches. And here they go again. Ian Wilson having the ball at the back. Jagura Bloom in beside him. Everybody spins, bus and hit it. Here's Bob. Are on the board. Well, there's a little bit of afters coming here. Michael Linus having to oh, walk away as a player being off. shoved over as well. Cal. Oh, and there was no way through in the end for Steele. Now Brand realised he didn't have the legs. And the tackle comes in from Jed Gelderbloom. And now the players react. It's just getting all a little bit tense. It was a tough tackle, but it's the Cam. reaction. Cam. Cam. Yeah, so it's tackle over the horizontal for me. He's landed on the top of the shoulder, so it's a yellow card. <laughs> What's that? No, for me, it's top of the shoulder. Rory, happy? Oh, that's overthrown. Hiddleston on to Davis. Davis with a handoff. Oh, he's still going. Cal Davis has got Rory Brand on the inside. That is a terrific score from Watsonians. And how about that for the little diving finish from Rory Brand? Beautifully done. Scored against Heriots last week. Scores against Heriots this week. And he's no. trying to bring the season to a close with a try. That's been played through. It's through to King, and he's going to go underneath the posts. OK. Careful. And you know what? For all That's their effort, for all the times they've been Thanks beaten off. back by Watsonians yeah, tonight, they have never given up. The men from Golden Acre and Dan King gets his name on the scoreboard. <laughs> Handshakes all round for the home side. They advance to the final. Milbury then is the venue for the second of the Fosrock Super 6 semi-finals. Of course the final played at the Dam Health in Edinburgh, a 4.45 kick-off. And there'll be of course live coverage of the final. Here's your Bulls against Southern Knights as the final a year ago. Well, the, the Bulls or the Bears end up in the final. Well there is a, a fully committed challenge and we'll get the thoughts of Dale on that one because uh, that was a, an aerial contest. Liam McNamara 
you see he's just going to very gingerly get himself back he's on his haunches at the moment but uh, he didn't have to take a tumble there we go in once more it's again playing well is Malcolm he's had a very bright start to the contest Lanark now has it just deliberately as a, a little look and players ready themselves little pod forms and again they're up and underneath the post and that's good that's very good from the Ayrshire Bulls point of view Andrew Nimmo the loose head dropped clean strike now is he given it enough is there enough on it there is enough but the angle just here. slightly to the left of that left hand post so Baramir remain searching for their opening points of this semi-final 7-0 the scoreline as uh, the drive is on here the Bulls will be controlling it McPherson just reading it by the inside of the boot and he picks up, he goes, he's over the line and now the Bulls players celebrate and that try coming three minutes short of the hour mark McPherson seems non plus. he'll be delighted inside and he walks back purposefully to halfway knowing his side are leading by 12 points to nil if they get the conversion it's two converted tries <laughs> into the remaining the seconds there. then of this uh, semi-final with Hunt then just walking side to side lining up this penalty goal this to finish things off for Ayrshire Bulls no problems at all straight and true the champagne can be removed from the ice uncork it and celebrate or perhaps keep it for a week's time because these players are inwardly delighted but outwardly showing little emotion, they know there's still work to do because they want to retain that championship.